Good morning, Senate District 14. Thank you for joining me for this very important webinar on California's Mortgage Relief Program. As of July 2021, more than 1.8 million homeowners were behind on their mortgages. The California Mortgage Relief Program, which launched on December 27, 2021, is providing one-time payments to qualified homeowners who have fallen behind on their house housing payments using $1 billion in federal funds. The assistance provided through this program is not a loan and does not need to be paid back. And beginning June 13, eligibility for the program was expanded to include covering past due property taxes, adjusting income limits, and modifying past due requirements. I'm very happy to welcome to this webinar, Colin Maynard with the California Mortgage Relief Program. He began his career in the California State Senate and has since advocated for and represented stakeholders across a number of sectors, including real estate, healthcare, and energy. Thank you for joining us today and, providing, and for providing such vital information to the district. Colin, I'll pass this over to you. Wonderful. Um, just wanted to say thank you uh, to Senator Hurtado and the staff for gathering us today and setting aside time to share this really valuable tool with your constituents. Uh, the California Mortgage Relief Program was set up to help homeowners recover from financial hardships experienced during the COVID-19 pandemic. So we're really excited to have this time to provide an overview. I'm gonna share my screen here and we will get going. Wonderful, okay. So I just wanna give you an overview of, of our agenda this morning. We are going to uh, make sure you're familiar with this important new program and it's giving Cal thousands of California families a fresh start on their mortgage. We'll go over eligibility, how to apply resources that are available to homeowners and answer questions uh, that have been submitted to the office prior to the event. And most importantly, I will explain how you can apply online and complete the entire process right away by visiting camortgagerelief.org. All right. I'll give you, uh, before we go over a review of the program, let's give you a brief uh, background. So as I stated before, the California Mortgage Relief Program is really a fresh start for thousands of homeowners who had um, experienced a financial hardship during the pandemic. And, and it would... And because of that, it had been difficult for them to make mortgage payments. Federal lawmakers came together towards the end of 2021 to set aside federal funds from the American Rescue Plan Act's Homeowner Assistance Fund. California received the largest allocation of those resources, about oh, exactly $1 billion, to provide uh, grants to homeowners across the state. And the really exciting news about that is that qualifying homeowners can now receive up to $80,000 per household for past due mortgages and up to $20,000 for missed property taxes. And those funds are distributed on a first come uh, first served basis. And once your application is reviewed and approved, the dollars are distributed to your mortgage servicer in the form of a grant that never has to be paid back. So we know that uh, COVID-19 um, impacted every community and household, but we know the pandemic hit lower to moderate income families and underserved communities across the state, especially hard. So this program was designed uh, to make sure everyone who needs help receives it. So you'll see our, our team is implementing the, the program with that in mind. Let's, um, I just wanna orient you to the bottom of the screen. On each one of our slides, you'll see our contact information, and that includes our email and our phone number. It's in bright orange, info at camortgagerelief.org, and then 1-888-840-2594. That's how you can reach our team, and, um, and um, we can assist you with, the, with um, applying and, and answer questions that you might have. Okay, let's jump into who is eligible. There's a few, uh, there's a, several um, criteria uh, for applicants that um, they need to be aware of. And the set of criteria um, is, is um, really straightforward. And um, we'll just, let's, we'll jump right into it. First, uh, we take a look at your household income based on your county's area median income. And I'll explain that in detail. 
Second, you must have you must own and occupy a single family home, condo, or manufactured home in the state of California. And third, you you must have missed two or more mortgage payments before June 30, 2022, and you must be currently delinquent. And then fourth, property tax uh, assistance is available if you missed uh, a tax payment before May 31, 2022. And then finally, um, you must have stayed, you must have faced a financial hardship caused by the pandemic after January 21, 2020. And then this is defined as either a loss of income or an increase in housing expenses. So let's jump into what area median, median income actually is, or AMI. And um, so this is a tool that is um, used to help identify eligibility for different government programs. It was developed by HUD and is set, um, it's the, it's the midpoint of a region's income level and is updated annually. For the California Mortgage Relief Program, if you fall at or below 150% of the area's median income level, you can check that box in the eligibility criteria when you apply. So as I said earlier, we set AMI at the county level and, and that can vary based on household size so that, um, there isn't just one number for the entire state, as you see in the graphic here. The, uh, the Federal Homeowner Assistance Fund has set its own set of income limits, and you can visit the HUD website to go deeper on that information. Um, here's how you um, can find AMI information on our website. We have a calculator that is, um, that is one of the first things you'll see when you visit our website at camortgagerelief.org. If you scroll down, um, you can enter your the county name and your household side, household size, and that will um, help you determine if you um, are at or below the 150 percent of your county's AMI. That's kind of the first step in trying to understand if if you are are eligible. And one one important point to note is that anyone residing in the household uh, that is over 18. Um, their income is is is, is uh, included in this calculator. So let's talk about how does the overall program work, right, from beginning to end. If your if your household meets the AMI requirements and you are interested in applying, we, re we really encourage you to start online today. Um, first, you might want to talk to your mortgage servicer to review options and check to see if they are participating in the pro participating in the program. Uh, the list um, is being updated regularly and can be found on our website. And next, when you apply online, um, you'll go through all the eligibility criteria we discussed to see if you qualify. Our team will take some time to review the application and verify your delinquency. And if you meet the criteria, your application will be approved. From there, we will uh, make a direct payment to your mortgage servicer, and this will protect you against fraud throughout the entire process. And the most important step, the, the one that we all want uh, to see, see accomplished here is you, the homeowner, will be returned to good standing on your mortgage and, a, and have that fresh start in your home. Remember that once you are caught up on your mortgage, the grant does not need to be returned or repaid. And this is, um, this is a question that comes up uh, from time to time is you know, reverse mortgages are actually included. We, we don't only serve traditional mortgages. If you have that reverse mortgage, you might be eligible. The California Mortgage Relief Program does offer assistance to homeowners with these types of mortgages. If you owe taxes or are behind on any um, insurance, uh, forced insurance before the end of uh, 2021, you may qualify for assistance uh, to, to reinstate your reverse mortgage to current status. Let's talk about how to get started with the application. Oh, um, actually, let's actually review property taxes as this was, this um, was updated recently um, when we expanded eligibility um, this month. So um, uh, one of the, the, the great things about property assistance um, in this program is that it's available to mortgage-free homeowners as well, and uh, but it, it is for up to $20,000 for anyone that has missed a property tax payment, and you must have missed at least one payment prior to May 31 of this year. All right, 
What's the details? Let's get into how to actually apply. This is this is the important part, right? So first, you're going to go to um, camortgagerelief.org. You you can only apply online. Um, you can start by clicking that orange button in the right top uh, right hand corner. Um, the application process is available in in many different languages, and we have multiple ways to assist you in in completing the application. All right, so. Um, at, once you um, start the application, um, you'll want to have um, all of those documents ready to go that will help us determine your delinquency. The entire process can take about 30 minutes if you have all of those ready to go. Um, you can even do this directly from your mobile device or a tablet. Um, the, the documents you'll want to include um, will be your mortgage statement, um, your bank statements, utility bills, documentation of um, any sort that will help us verify your household income. And then homeowners in bankruptcy will also want, um, want to provide a letter from their servicer or the trustee. Um, just note that um, after completing um, the information and, um, and going through that process, we will want to, uh, we might want to reach out to you to, to ask any other questions or help you review. Um, and, and we'll get you going on, on that that process to success. So one other thing I will mention here is you have your documents ready to go. You're, you're in, in the application. You'll go through the, this questionnaire that asks you about um, your eligibility. So just note that you'll go through those steps to just verify the eligibility. You'll upload those documents. And then uh, from there, um, we, we've, we've dropped a number of um, hints along the way that that there are many ways to um, um, get more help on the application or to answer questions. The information is at the bottom of the screen, info at camortgagerelief.org or our 1-888-840-2594 phone number. But I just wanna let you know, where, where does it take you, right? We, we set up a contact center um, where we have a, a specialists that can offer assistance and our team can help homeowners in over 200 languages. Uh, we also would recommend that, um, you know, that you speak to a HUD certified counselor uh, during this process to, if you need additional support. Um, um, and as we know that every situation, and every mortgage um, is unique. So they can help you review uh, options and point you to the right um, information or resource that fits your need. And let's talk just a little bit about fraud and scams. Um, um, we take fraud very seriously. And so we want to just walk you through this, this process. We designed the program with a number of um, fail safes in place to help eliminate fraud. And if you think, um, but the bottom line is if you think that you're, you might be experiencing a fraud, please, or a scam, please report it. Scammers can, uh, may do a number of things to take advantage of you um, online. And that could include um, you know, pressuring you to act immediately, ask you to pay or transfer funds. Um, they might uh, try to convince you to transfer the deed of your property to them. Um, and they might, uh, might try to uh, use different stories to, to pressure you to pay them separately and or sign documents um, that are outside of our process. And um, I just want to just call out the fact that like you will never have to, uh, you'll never have to uh, send in um, a check to us. This is a completely free process. So if anyone were to ask for money as part of the process or ask you to pay them in any way, that that would be um, a red flag that I think um, where you should um, report that and and at least contact. One way you could do that is you could call us and and just verify our process again. All right. And then just want to make sure that you know there are a number, um, just review those other resources one last time is, you know, you call us or email and we will get back to you um, um, in, in several days uh, because of, um, over the email, but we will answer the phone via our contact center. And um, if, if you need additional help, I would just refer you to that HUD, HUD certified housing counselor, which is 
4287. And you can also go to our help page, actually, which is camortgagerelief.org forward slash help. All right. I am going to leave that up on the screen and just jump into the Q&A section of this uh, webinar. And thank you for everyone that sent us questions. So I'm just going to start off. We got 10 questions here. I'll go through each. How long will it take to get approval or, or to find out that you've been denied? Um, so good question. Timing of the review process will depend on the completeness of the application that has been submitted. Uh, we might need more information or documentation um, and uh, the responsiveness of the applicant or the co-applicants and the mortgage servicer or other parties involved um, that need to be provided, the need to provide information need, needs to just be accounted for in terms of timing. Question number two, can I still be eligible if I missed payments after January 27, 2021? So homeowners must be at least two payments past due before June 30th of, this, of 2022 and currently behind. So for a list of all that eligibility criteria, um, I would visit the who is eligible section of our website, or you can call our contact center. Again, that number is 1-888-840-2594. Third question here is, I'm on disability benefits. Do I still qualify for the program? So the program is open to all California homeowners who meet those eligibility requirements we went through. I would just, again, point you to our who is eligible section or ask you to call the contact center. Which properties are eligible for relief? So yeah, the home must be located in California. It must be a single family home or condo or a permanently affixed manufactured home. Question five here is which zip codes are eligible? So homeowners, again, it, this is any homeowner in California, there isn't a restriction on location as long as it is inside the state border. Where is the application located? So our, all of our applications are online. Just, all you have to do is visit camortgagerelief.org and just you can get started today by clicking the orange apply now button in the top right corner. Do you have a certain income bracket to apply? This, this is uh, going back to the area median income. The program serves households that are at or below 150% of their county's area median income. So, and just to, re just to reiterate that the income of all individuals who live in the home over the age of 18 would be counted towards that household income. And then what no, question eight here is what is the maximum relief available? So mortgage assistance grants are directly tied to the past due amount the homeowner owes their lender, and that's up to a maximum of $80,000 per household. And then household house homeowners who are delinquent by more than 80,000 at the time they submit their application would not be eligible for assistance. And then let's, and I'll just reiterate property taxes as well for homeowners who pay their property taxes directly to their county uh, grants that we offer um, fund the past due amount that is owed to their county tax collector. And that's up to $20,000 per household. Do you have to be behind on your mortgage to qualify? Yes, yeah, so yes. So the, the program is designed to cover past due mortgage uh, payments or past due property tax payments. And the, remember those funds will go directly to the mortgage servicer or the county to cover those past due amounts. Will this webinar give some assist, insight to homeowners who have already applied as to when we will receive the assistance we need? So I would highly encourage anyone who is waiting to hear back about the status of their application to call our help center. They can let you know the status. They can check to see if there's any additional information that needs uh, to be submitted. And I would just encourage everyone to either email info at camortgagerelief.org or call us directly at 1-888-840-2594. That wraps it up. Thanks so much.